Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a pretty uh, interesting video. I don't usually do this for like any monsters that just come out or anything like that. Uh, but this monster is at uh, Totem. Uh, the video I'm going to be doing this video for is Totem, uh, who is a pretty unique monster and a very controversial monster. Uh, I was trying up, uh, as you know, I got the 1 to 100 video out this morning. Uh, my first, I was actually like before that, you know, the the adventure map uh, battle and stuff like that. I had a whole. I actually uh, I had to, I had cut out. Uh, I actually tried him in a re, uh, like PvP. Uh, I don't think I was using him right at all um, during the one to one hundred video. That's why I kind of edited that out. Uh, but I did like you know I added the adventure map one to kind of just like because I didn't I didn't test that I didn't test him out before taking him to PvP, and I think that was my mistake. Uh, he wasn't tested out. He wasn't ready yet. Uh, or I didn't use him correctly. Uh, now I've kind of tested him out a bit, and I'm hopefully this time I'm going to use him the correct way. Uh, or use him the way that he needs to be used. <laughs> I also named him Scree. I named him, I, I changed his name. I never really touched his name during the video. I just wanted to keep it simple. Uh, I named him Scree uh, after the Awesome Knots character Scree. Uh, that game's awesome. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using Totem, and I'm gonna be using a few different setups, uh, you know, to see what works and stuff like that. Uh, so the first thing you should probably know about like uh, this monster is like his life. If you didn't read any of the like the description or like you didn't read the description of the video, I uh, didn't scroll through that a bit. Uh, Totem, uh, when Totem uses his life thing, he doesn't like give them more life. I mean, he gives them more life, but he doesn't recover life. He gives more life, but he doesn't recover it. Uh, that's very important to know, uh, and that drastically changes who he pairs up with. Uh, so, he, like, just straight off the bat, you want something that gives, like, you know, like, life steal back or regeneration. So you want to pair this guy up with nature monsters, uh, or monsters that regenerate life. Anything with a regenerative ability or AoE regen, that would work. Like, you know, like, if you have, like, uh, Demise or, uh, Gretchen, that works too. Uh, just something that gives regeneration to everybody. Uh, will work. So actually, in this uh, demonstration, I'm actually going to be using uh, Demise 2. Uh, we're going to test. We're going to see this first. We're going to see how this one goes. Uh, I was actually surprised that the 30% was an AOE. <laughs> uh, I th I'm pretty sure on the thing it says single target, uh, but it hits everybody. Uh, and I I really like that. I don't know if that's a, see. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's an actual like that's supposed to be a thing. Uh, I hope it's an actual thing. It actually helps a lot uh, in fights. Uh, when conjunction with like things like days, um, actually that's why I brought Real Razor Face. Uh, not just because he has life steal, but he also has a days AOE. I want to see how much damage they actually do uh, while un while under those effects. Uh, let's see here. This is Akmandina. Akmandina slower. Yeah, uh, so I was just drinking some tea. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm still slow. Yeah, I'm still slow. <laughs> yeah, I was Totem too. You really want to control Totem and like fights and stuff like that. I don't know how well he'll do uh, in terms of the AI controlling uh, them. Uh, him really? Uh, let's see here. Uh, still fast. I'm also might change his rune setup. I might give him full speed. I might not. Uh, I haven't really played him out around with him in PvP much. I don't know what really works works yet. Uh, but usually, you know, full speed does kind of help with you know with the extra turns and stuff like that. I think he could really use the extra turns. Uh, gives him more time to set up his buffs. I think that might be a thing I might actually do is get like level nine speed runes on this man, like all level nine, uh, so he can just like you know keep on moving, steamroll and stuff like that. Uh, this one looks really nice. I might, I'm gonna actually do this one. Uh, this one doesn't really, like, uh, the problem with this one is the, uh, there's the time mirror on. Alright. I'd love to do it without the time mirror on. Maybe I shouldn't have done this one to, to make my point, but we'll, uh, we'll still do it. Oh shit, the one person I didn't hit was the guy with the thing. 
This will keep them from doing anything. Oh, he actually went for the... He didn't even go for the thing. Alright, so I'm... Oh, okay, so we will be able to do this. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna do take what you can. And I still didn't... Oh, dang, I didn't even land the days. No. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so... Drain, we're gonna do draining light. Everybody gets health regen. Uh, we're actually oh dude okay so this is this is the one I see okay so I did the AOE regeneration so we we are gonna get to do one of the things that I wanted to see uh, so right now uh, Akmedina's health is you know three thousand one hundred sixty uh, obviously that won't be normal as soon as her like buff ends or like her like her uh, stand increase ends but uh, you know it'd be twenty eight k at that point but we're gonna do Wanga gift on her and increase her life by fifty three percent. And I doesn't seem to be too much regen. Uh, maybe uh, more life runes or something like that. Maybe if it wasn't like with another life rune, it would, it would obviously heal more. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, am I still blind? I'm indeed still blind. Uh, we're gonna do when light corrupts. Didn't hit shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hit shit. Oh. Didn't you just use that? Oh well. Yeah, so we got that done. Uh, he also has, uh, his AoE also stacks, uh, with his, like, you know, power buff. Uh, if you didn't see that in the video, the AOE, like, his abilities do stack, which is nice. Uh, so you can, you can stack rights of, uh, Von Du with, uh, Mahu Mojo. Uh, I think that was really cool. I'm actually gonna do Mahu Mojo on Demise. Uh, it's also important to note that uh, actually uh, you should always uh, that another thing why you need to you should probably run three uh, I mean like full speed runes uh, when when they get hit while under the effect of the AOE I mean like the AOE debuff uh, their base ha you know their base their base health is of that stat if you actually damage them within that time period uh, you know I mean like if because you do you know like they have lesser health now. Uh, like they have, uh, uh, I don't know how much, uh, time Euron had during the, I think he's still, he's still under the buff, uh, cause he actually has a life rune on, uh, I don't know much, how much he actually has without, uh, without the thingy on, uh, but that lasts for a really long time, is that three turns? That says three turns, it's supposed to be two turns, uh, the thing says two turns, I, I don't know why that's a thing. But yeah, that was that fight. So we actually, in that fight, I don't know if we actually got to see the the debuff stack. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, obviously, they do stack. I just don't know how much damage is reduction uh, reduced uh, when that uh, is under effect. Uh, now we're going to actually see how beneficial it is. Oh, we still need Tiki. Uh, I mean, not Tiki, uh, Scree. We still need Scree. Uh, we need Scree. Uh, we're going to need the Orsar, because this is my next theory or thought. Uh, that's going underway, uh, is that if you have like a, re a regenerative attack, or how useful will that actually be? Uh, so we have we have uh, Osir and we have Porky. We're gonna use Porky in this fight. Osir also can daze too, so that this will also help turn our little experiment here. Um. Looking for a suitable fight. Uh, this one looks semi decent. Um, how fast is he? Uh, he's pretty fast. Uh, um. 
This one's good, but it's kind of too easy. I mean, they do have Voltic. Voltic is kind of a pain. We'll, we'll try. We're gonna try this. Team. We're actually gonna try this fight. Uh, so we'll actually see how well it will go if, like, you know, if I fight Voltic and stuff like that. How much the it's affected by the debuffs. Uh, where do? Uh, oh, it also would have helped if, like, uh, Timeiron was like, uh, like you know, under a speed a speed boof. Uh, not not a speed boof, a speed buff. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Zombo Mum uh, Zango Mumbo. Uh, we're gonna uh, decrease all the stats. Uh, we're gonna do uh, stop time on Voltic. If we land the the stop time, then we can do other stuff. Okay, go cool, go cool, go. Cool. Uh, then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do loop damage. I want to see uh, I want to see something here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do loop damage. Uh, maybe I should have done. Maybe I should have done cooldowns activated, but I want to see like how much damage it's reduced. Uh, so they're running at uh, they're running at half power now. Uh, that was not a whole lot of damage. Oh, and I got the I got the AOE off too. All right, so this is. This was another thing I wanted to show you guys. Like, uh, is the is he still under it? He's not under it. He's yeah. He must have already moved. Uh, but okay. So here's Wanga gift. This is this is what I wanted to see. Uh, so we got Wanga gift right here, right? Uh, so now Tamiran's under loop the loop damage. So let's see how this works. All right. So it does it does send it does send Wanga gift back, which is really nice. Uh, so now they're both. Walking it. Well, this uh, time Aaron's walking around with 50% more life. If I had a healer on my team, that would uh, recover, obviously. Uh, he's wandering around with more life, which is really nice. Uh, so you can do it in conjunction with that if you have, like, uh, if you wanted to make your support, like, uh, if you wanted to make Timeiron or Gretchen more bulkier, uh, they would obviously appreciate that much. So you, that's why you kind of want uh, this guy to go. Uh, you want Timeiron to go first so he can set up loop damage, and then you want this guy to go so he can set up the heals. Or not the heals, the life buff. If there was... I, I, I think, like, if you have, for an attacker, if you have Cyan Neutra, I think the combination would be really great in terms of bulk. Uh, again, this is, like... This is probably, like... Very rarely could probably the, the NBC do this, but, uh, it, like, you know, it's like that's why you want uh, Totem to be controlled by you. You want to be able to set up your buffs and all that jazz. Alright. Uh, so we got we got cooldowns activated. Uh we should probably kill uh we should probably kill that uh whatchamacallit. That life buff really helps. <laughs> the da the damage see that damage you decrease is really high. Yeah, look at that. I would have died from that. <laughs> We're gonna set up uh our damage buff. We're gonna need to recharge. And we're gonna do recovery Tetsubo. Uh Uh, I suppose that's a problem. Uh, can't kill. I didn't put my damage buff on him yet, so that's why I'm having. Oh wait, I did. I did put my damage buff on him. I just don't have a high enough strength. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do Wonga Gift on. Uh... Or no, I did. I did right. Where's that? Oh, I only put the small one on. Okay, that explains that. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, Wonga Gift on him now, so he has that more life to do his regeneration deal. Uh. 
because that damage decrease is really high. <laughs> it is really high. <laughs> uh, let's see, it would be more beneficial at the moment. Uh, kind of want to give more power. Let's give let's give him the let's at least give him the power boost before Totem goes. There we go. Ah, uh, it's just really tanky. He's he's just so tanky at this point. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I don't have enough stamina for uh, the gift, but see, I got another turn in. Uh, so in some situations, you might not need that third speed rune. Uh, sometimes you may not. Um, it, again, depends on the situation of the fight, who you're fighting. Uh, I'd say Totem is the most situational monster in the game, uh, in terms of, like, uh, like you know, how, what runes do you have on, on your anim uh, on your monsters? Uh, uh, what what moves did you decide to give him? Uh, he's very, he's very like, you know... He's, Versatile. I mean, like he, you can do pretty much a lot of things with Totem, uh, in terms of buffing. Is like choose your own buff, pretty much. What do you need at the moment? What did you not bring to the fight? Uh, all that jazz. Because see, look at these. These buffs last for a really long time. The the small AOE buff lasts for four turns. The medium strength buff lasts for five. Uh, it really stacks up. Do you, you gotta take into account it stacks. Uh, so the there was there was a single target one with twelve percent. Uh, so if you had you know like that's uh, twenty eight percent. Plus a forty-eight percent. Uh, that's be around. Uh, let's see, twenty-eight percent is forty-eight percent. That'd be wouldn't that be seventy-six percent? No, that would be that would be seventy-two percent. Uh, you know, like I, I bring the two. Uh, Sixty do eight. Yeah, seventy-two percent. That's seventy-two percent power. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't think I need to give him any more buffs. He's all, he's pretty much all buffed to go, uh, but we will uh, just recharge. I had to recharge myself. Uh, but a really nice thing about Z uh, Zango Mumbo, uh, Mungo is, uh, you know, it's like, let's get the, uh, get the debuff here. Um, I might as you know what I might as well just give him the life buff again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is why. Oh, oh, oh! It's oh, you can stack this the same thing. Can you really? Oh, you can stack the same thing, isn't? It? Okay, I just I just found that out. You can stack it. Oh. You can stack. Ah, you can stack it. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's insidiously great. <laughs> you can stack it. How many? How many times can you stack it? I, I want to see how many times you can stack it. Uh, oh, I guess I can't really write. Uh, all right, we're here for science. We're not here to really win. We're here for science. Uh, so I'm gonna continue. To, I'm gonna continue to. How many? T how many times can I stack this? Oh, it's the oh man! It, it actually it it does hurt a lot though. Oh, it stacks. Oh, it stacks. Oh, that's really cool. Now that's really cool. You gotta really take that into account. Wait, does that mean the debuff? I wonder if the debuff. Oh, well, I guess that's why it's three turns then. Uh, but when you think about it, if you pair that up with Timira, and then you can like you know cooldowns uh, uh deactivated and stuff like that. And then you can use, uh, you know, you can use it again. You can use the the debuff again. Ah, okay, that's really cool. I like that. 
Oh, that's stupid great. Oh, that's really great. <laughs> that's really great. <laughs> Okay, so we d we have discovered that you can stack the life buff, which is really nice. Uh, so in terms of events, like in case of your like, it takes time to set up, but I think it in terms of like over time, like if, over the course of the battle, uh, I think it really helps more than uh, obviously these. This is for like a long like long term battles, uh, which isn't too common in Monster Legends, but if you can actually stack the buffs in time, then you can make a, like, you can make your attacker so bulky that you, they actually can't die. <laughs> uh, unless they, you know, they're under the effects of burn and stuff like that. Uh, but if you can get rid of the, like, those kind of problems out of the way, then you have a really bulky team. <laughs> uh, that, that was really strong. You saw how, I, I actually recovered 84, I think it was like 80, it wasn't 84,000, like, life points. Uh, that's how much hit points I was able to stack up with it. So the so the uh, the buffs do stack. You can stack. Uh, at first, I just thought you can just stack the like separate buffs. So you know, you know, like the you got the rights of. I mean, you can you have the right, rights of Voodoo and you got the Mahu Mojo. I thought they uh, like uh, I heard a YouTuber say they stack. Uh, I didn't know you can stack the same move. That's really cool. That's really interesting. Uh, so we got one more. We got one more test. Um, uh, we have also noticed that like it. Like with the like the power debuffs, if he, if I would have had like with Timira, and if I would have had like uh, an AOE like, uh, you know the AOE like that decreases power and stuff like that, I, I, that that might have actually worked ten times better than the days, but maybe not. Uh, in terms of like you know days lowers accuracy too, so there's this higher chance of survival. Uh, but the damage increase though, I mean the dam the less power and stuff like that, you would be. I bet they would be walking around with very really 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 low power. Or at least they'd take away quite a few runes away. Uh, let's see here. Who do I, who do I want to use last for the uh, last test? Um, we're actually going to use. Um, right, uh, I've been attacked. That was quick. Alright, uh, we're gonna use best that, and we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna use, uh, all, uh, we're gonna use all Arnold here. We're gonna actually see how many times I can get the, uh... Let's see how many times I can get, like, power buff off. I need better runes on my best stat, for sure. I think at some point, if you just keep stacking the power buff, you'll, you'll do so much I mean, like, you'll go over a double damage, pretty much. Because you have so many r attack runes on your monster, uh, which is the equivalent of level 5 runes. Uh, not too sure about We'll try this one. I'm not too sure about it, but we'll try it. Uh... Uh, we are going to do Mahu Mojo. Uh, no, we're going to do... Uh... Uh, that's not going to matter too much because, you know, Thedes is on the team. So I actually want to... I actually want to increase my attacker's attack points. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so the the so the the life buff doesn't. Uh, okay, so it doesn't. Uh, all right. So that's nice to know. It doesn't. It doesn't like. Uh, all right. At first, I thought like it. The life didn't adjust because like the. Uh, at first, I thought the life didn't adjust because the uh, you know they had gotten attacked. Okay, so that's a that's another good thing to know. So uh, when you do increase your life, it does not adjust. It does not. It totally doesn't adjust, even though it it wasn't damaged at all. Uh, that's a good thing to know. These are <laughs> you got it again. <laughs> How does it get it twice? <laughs> it gets it got it. It literally got it all twice. Uh, how is that possible? <laughs> all right. So it does not. That does not uh, adjust with the life, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, at, at first, I thought it just didn't adjust because it got like you know the monster got damaged. Uh, but that's not the case. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh. I've obviously lost at this point. 
uh, that's the thing with totem. All right, so things to know with totem: you can stack the buffs. You can make uh, you can make the monster uh, as high as life as you want, as high as power as you want. Uh, over time, uh, in terms of long term fights, I think that's really great. You do need regeneration though. You do need to pick up a, You do need to have monsters that heal, uh, so you, to heal off the damage and stuff like that. So maybe like for your, uh, you know, your second monster, you have like a healer or something like that. You'll probably need that. Uh, I actually never even got to use the AoE, uh, you know, the AoE shields and stuff like that, uh, because of the, uh, the monster died right away, uh, oh. just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, Sugi back, uh, so yeah, we're gonna put him back, we're gonna put him back, and we're gonna put him back, uh, yeah, uh, I, I've already been attacked, so I don't think it matters much, I think. Yeah, because yeah, I've been a I've been already attacked. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Did I actually win that? No, I I lost that. I lost that so hard. Uh, was it close? I, I wish you could actually see how close the fight was. Uh, but I lost quite a bit of I I lost quite a uh, bit of gold there. Uh, gold and food, which isn't too great. Um, I wonder how far I am with that. I only won two, and I have the. Well, at least the nice thing about it is three. It is a three day of. I mean, like it's basically a three day event, or kind of two like two days and a half, uh, which is nice. It's enough time to get twenty wins. It's it, twenty twenty wins within two days is pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, it's doable. Uh, so yeah, thoughts on Scree. Uh, Scree is pretty. Or not Scree Totem. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Totem is a pretty uh, interesting monster. The, the fact that not only can you stack, but like you can pair it up with other buffs, you can stack the same buff. Uh, so maybe if you hadn't like the AOE buff, if you got to spam that over a period of time, not only are you buffing your uh, attacker, but you are buffing the denier too. Uh, I don't know if that's too helpful because, you know, like, you know, usually deniers don't have much power to begin with. Uh, so maybe we do just want to prioritize on, like, buffing the attacker. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to go actually going, going to go to his move sets real quick. To talk about his moves real quick. Oh, uh, our good, like, you know, possible abilities uh, that you can swap for the life buff if you're not too keen on the life buff. Alright, so, with the life buff, okay, so, like, you know, he has the AoE life buff, so you probably want to stray away from that if you don't like the, if you don't like the life buffs. Uh, you can go to, uh, Octic Juju, uh, which decreases all targets' maximum life, damage, and stamina by 8, of 8%, uh, for 5 turns. You can stack this, uh, multiple, t you can probably stack this multiple times, too. Uh, you know, it's just, like, makes it everyone like you know week over time but i don't know if it's too necessary because you do have again you do have the uh you have Ex exango mambo which is a pretty pretty decent enough uh debuff to begin with uh see that says six turns for two turns six turns five turns i see why does that say two different numbers uh but yeah, I think Exon Ex Exango Mambo goes well with like uh, uh, days and stuff like that. I think it works really well with days. Um, obviously, you know, stunning stunning is more better anyway. But it, it is you know it's something different. It is it is kind of a different monster if you think about it in terms of uh, really uh, competitive play. Uh, it only goes well in again totem only goes well in certain situations. Uh, but this was the move I was talking about. If you didn't like, uh, if you didn't like the the life buff, you can go go with the zombie beat uh, to put it on the attacker if you wanted to. Um, I don't know if it's any better. I I, I like the life buff. Uh, it works well with like you know regeneration. I might keep it just for that. Uh, but for most of the times, I might actually just do Mahu Mojo. I mean, spam that quite a bit uh, in fights, or at least I I do the Exango Mambo first, you know, to get that uh, damage decrease and stuff like that done. Uh, just so, like, they don't do much damage right away. I would recommend you pair Totem up with really tanky, like, attackers like Atlas. Uh, that hasn't changed at all. That thought process hasn't changed at all. You really want people that can either tank up a lot of hits or you want someone to, like, uh... You want someone to, like, uh, you know, be able to withstand, you know, withstand damage, recover damage, all that jazz. Uh, I think if you, like... Okay, so here's what my thought process is. 
I think so as long as the enemy doesn't have like a you know damage over time person. Uh, I don't know how come it is not to have one of those, but if if they don't have damage over time, what you can actually do is like with like Atlas for example, if you do like the the gravity pull, you know, it doubles his life, uh, makes every every all of his attacks go to him. Uh, if you actually set up the life buff before doing that, I think like with that or yeah. You you probably want to set the life buff after perhaps. Uh, no, nah, it still doesn't work. See, because it, the the life the life buff doesn't really like we how we found out the life buff doesn't really stack. Uh, but I think if you give them regeneration, I think if that was a, if you gave uh, Atlas regeneration, uh, just straight up the bat. I mean, like you know, if you, with the mines, you give them the regeneration and stuff like that after you like you know you do the double damage. Uh, that way Atlas can set up his. Uh, either you can have him set up gravity pull first, uh, that can be a thing, uh, yeah, you can set up gravity pull first, you can then, uh, have Demise do the regeneration, set up with that, and then it heals from there, uh, you just gotta hope that they don't have any damage over time, uh, again, uh, he works in different situations, different scenarios work better than some other ones, uh, I like, uh, yeah, it, it, it pretty much stacks up with time. Like, not many people like, think he doesn't isn't that great because he does take time to set up. But I think if he gives the time to set up, you can't really do much at that point. Uh, like the thing with Oser, uh, true. Like I was burned and stuff like that, but I still had the, I still had like the curative uh, tumbo or something like that. And there are there are some monsters like uh, I think this guy would go great with Kuku Khan, or Cool Khan if you know what he is. He's got like several like healing moves. Uh, I think if you pair it up with him, he'd be very, very helpful in terms of recovering health and stuff like that. Especially have like Timeiron, and then you know he's Totem still can since Totem can like stack the buff, then you can stack the heals too. You can heal too. Uh, you heal more hit points and stuff like that. You gotta put that into account. Uh, Kuku Khan can heal people, a lot of people. Uh, but Cyan, of course, is the best one. If you have Cyan, I totally recommend pairing it up with this guy. It just stacks better. Um, yeah, I, I, and plus you got, like, you know, you can increase the damage, too. You can do a lot of things with Totem. Uh, just a variety of things. It does need, you know, setup and stuff like that, but I think, like, uh, Totem works well in terms of long-term fights, uh, which doesn't really happen too much. Again, it doesn't happen too much in Monster Legends. Uh, but he also works well with Daze teams, or, like, things that do damage, reduce damage. Uh, I was thinking a combination of, like, uh... Oh, Jabaline, Will Razor Face, and this guy, or just any monster with days like uh, Oster. I think that would be a really great combination. Uh, I might do that in a few. Uh, whenever I get uh, Jabaline to 100, she's at 51 at the moment. Uh, I will probably do a team like that uh, in the future, uh, if there is a, like a combination that would allow it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's Totem. Uh, I hope this changed your thought on him, or maybe like you know you are intrigued by his skills. Uh, I still think he's a really awesome monster. I mean, like, he's very unique. He can, he can do a lot of things, and uh, he works really well on stally kind of teams, like damage over time teams, I think. Uh, teams that can recover hit points, uh, all that jazz. Uh, it, it is kind of hard to set up because then you, you, it's kind of hard because now not only... Because you, at first it's like, you know, you, got, you have trouble setting up your ruins, but now you have so, so, uh, trouble setting up a proper team to set up uh, with it. Uh, which is kind of a problem, but eh, you you can figure. You, I'm sure you can figure something out uh, with Team Comp. Yeah, I, that's what I actually want to tr ask you guys. Uh, try this guy out. Uh, see what combinations are really great and OP, or like just really strong. Uh, like you know, like the deal with Time Miron and the the AOE loop damage, uh, and the Wanga gift. You know, you can do that back and forth. Uh, then he, well, well yeah, I not. See, I'm trying to figure out why that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I'm actually gonna try that real quick. Uh, I want to see why that because it it doesn't make any sense why the uh, I thought it would adjust to it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try it here. Uh, we're gonna try that real quick. I want to see how that works. Okay, okay, yeah. So it does not again the the life does not adjust. Hey, right, so the life does not adjust. I just wanted to make sure of that one more time. Uh, just to make sure I was thinking that right. So, yeah, yeah, you do need some, again, you do need someone to, like, you know, regenerate and stuff like that. Uh, 
I don't know why that's not. A th I don't know why the li why the life doesn't uh, just like that. You know, uh, I'd understand if they were hit, but not like when they're like not hit. That's kind of a bummer, but oh well. Uh, so he might not work too well in like common wars. Like I like I said in the description, he'd work well with that. It might not work well anymore with that. Uh, it just might not. Uh, but yeah, I I. I'd probably use them in, like, uh, Legendary Wars if it was, like, uh, you know, two elements and a Legendary. I'd probably use them. I'd, st I'd probably still use them then, uh, you know, because his buffs are real. His buffs are really good. His damage buff is really nice. Uh, you can just stack up the damage runes if you wanted, or you can just, you know, you do the AoE uh, damage reduction, plus, like, with Daze or something like that. That's, like, severe damage reduction and stuff like that. Uh, I do believe that is it. Um, so, again, uh, final thoughts, uh, runs, I, I'd say run full speed runes on Totem, uh, just because, like, you don't have to worry about, I don't think you have to really worry about being damaged, uh, too much, I don't think being, yeah, I don't think you have to worry about being damaged really at all, uh, you can totally just spam your damage buff, or, like, uh, because, you know, he can, he, at, at the point of using Exango, Mambo, uh, and doing AoE days at some point, uh, I think the damage reduction is, like, enough to last you the, a good amount of time. Uh, you, you'll be able to do more buffs on your enemy, I mean, your allies, uh, if you do have more speed. If you get more turns in, you can do more buffs and stuff like that. Uh, again, if you have, like, a nature monster, he, they can, in fact, if you have, like, a nature monster, you can spam the life rune buff, uh, and, you know, get make it really high in life and stuff like that. Again, the only thing you will have to worry about is uh, being burned and stuff like that. That's the only time you have to really worry about uh, stuff is if you're burned or damaged under, over time. Uh, but beyond that, you're pretty solid. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have to say about Totem uh, in this video. Uh, if you got any comments or questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments section below. I'll answer them happily. Uh, yeah, so I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.